Hey! What's up, kids? Do we, All right. Do we know them? I don't know. Okay. But we're doing the show. Here we go. Okay. Hi, I'm Libby Gibson. Welcome to What's Going On. Okay, wait, no. I have to say who I am. Okay. You um, can say who you are. I didn't say, like, what I am. Oh, okay. Go. <laughs> okay. Hi, I'm Libby Gibson, town manager. Welcome to What's Going On in Town Government. We had a pretty lengthy Board of Selectmen's meeting last night. The big thing was a discussion between the board, hospital representatives, the Nantucket Water Commission about the potential about the proposal of the hospital to relocate to a town-owned property known as Wires Valley. And there were a lot, there was a lot of discussion about that. We also heard from the Richmond Group, which is the firm that now owns the former Glowacki property off Old South Road. And there was some discussion about the possibility of a site there for the hospital. Oh, really? Um, That's yes, interesting. Yes, that I... was interesting. And at the board's next meeting on August 6th, they are going to have a public hearing of sorts, not a, not a statutory public hearing, not a formal public hearing, but public hearing in the sense that they would like to hear from the public about the proposal. All right, now Pros, I have a couple cons, of questions things like that. Yes. that people are asking me about. Okay. Um, the, the, the location of the hospital as it is now, Yes. what happens to that property? The, my understanding, and there is, there and are. They own it. The hospital. They owns do. It. Yes, there are numerous presentations on this, and and the presentation that was given to the board last night by the hospital will get onto our website sometime soon. My understanding is that the hospital would it would sell that property, would develop that property for, for uh, sale. Okay, but if the town gives them the land, yep. Why would they be want to pay for it through the Richmond people? Wouldn't they have to pay Richmond for that property? What, what do you mean, Richmond? You said that there's a they could put the hospital out on well, Old South well, Road. Well, okay, no, 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 no. Okay. The Richmond group that owns the land on Old South Road has indicated that there is the potential for the hospital, from their perspective, to be at their site. The hospital so far has identified the Wires Valley site as their preferred site. But they would get that, they want that land given to them they, without a charge, is that correct? Um, yes. Because it's but, town owned. Because it's town owned. Okay. But there would, in all likelihood, need to be some conditions on a transfer like that. For example, there has been some discussion about including the, the a new nursing home in this proposal and having the hospital operate it. There has been discussion oh, about the okay. hospital building a new building for the water company's administrative offices and, and a new garage because those things that are presently on the site would have to move, obviously, or and, be removed. That's good. So they're, so they're, they're talking about giving back, give, you know, they'll get some something. and give something back. That is the uh, that is our understanding. And if yes. they were to keep the property they they have, mm -hmm. would they create affordable housing for doctors and nurses there? Is I that don't something know. That, was... that is that is not something we got into last night, really, in very much deep. We did not get into that last night. All but right. Right. the hospital is very open to discussing their proposal with anybody. And so if people have questions about it, they can certainly talk to Margot Hartman, the president. Yep. And. We are going to, as I say, be having this discussion at our meeting on August 6th. Will it continue, or is it just, that's going to, they're going to make a decision on August No, no, 6th. no. There's, there's um, not a decision to be made right at, at the moment, I don't think. I think the board is working on gathering information in order to formulate its position. Right. And then from, you know, over the course of time, things will start to pull together in the form of uh, town meeting warrant articles oh, because I there are, there are town it meeting to approvals to, got it. required. Got it. So next so again on August 6th the board will be having a public discussion about the proposal. At the meeting last night it was not a public discussion. It was a discussion limited only to the board members, the hospital, the Richmond group and the water company. The public was not invited to speak. Got it. But they will be invited to speak at the next meeting on August 6th. So that was our that was our biggest thing. We had some some other sort of minor issues about uh, various permit approvals, noise bylaws, a couple of real estate items. We had a bit of discussion about parking. Oh yeah. Our overnight commercial vehicle parking ban 
um, is apparently causing a little consternation for some people, but it's early on, so where we can, we'll try to iron that out, but in the middle of the summer, it's rather difficult to do that. So in the fall, I think the board will be having a, a discussion to sort of assess the, how, what the impact has been of the various parking initiatives that have been put forward now for this summer. We also, I'm going to just mention, um, in our pending contract approvals for last night, we, we, we have this section of the agenda called pending contracts, and by charter, the town manager can approve all contracts, but it's subject to a resolution of approval or disapproval by the board. So I put forward a list of items, and if the board does not object to them, then they're approved. And they didn't object to anything last night, but I want to mention that. Oh, good. And you're going to mention um, a few? Well, I'm going to mention one, All right. which is important. Um, the town has an agreement with a private property owner who actually owns most of the beach at 40th Pole, which is a very popular beach, but it is mostly not owned by the town. The land bank owns some of it as well. The land bank owns property adjacent to this private property. And for some number of years now, we've had an agreement with the private property owner that the public may use a portion of his beach. A portion is sectioned off for, pub, for, for um, people only, another portion is for people and vehicles, and then there's the private portion. So it's fenced off, the agreement requires fencing and signage. There are ATV beach patrols that go through there on a regular basis. We have had a lot of vandalism this year, unfortunately, by um, I'm just going to say this, by irresponsible people who are going to ruin it for everybody else if they keep up that behavior. They've torn down the fences and the signage repeatedly um, for the last couple Why? of months. What? I mean, what? They seem to be under the impression that these beaches are public and should not be fenced off in any way. Oh. In fact, Ooh. that is not correct at all and private property owners have the right yeah. to fence those things off to a certain area if they so desire. And this owner has agreed to let the public use portions of his property, but I can't imagine that he would want to continue doing that if people are trashing the property. So, so yeah, good to please um, yeah. don't ruin it for everybody. Yeah. Um, we're pretty fortunate here on Nantucket because most of our beaches, while not actually outright public, are used by the public, and that is not the case in a lot of places. So we ought to all be respectful of that yeah. and so we can keep that privilege. Now, um, there is another thing about this agreement with 40th Pole. The beach will be entirely closed off to public use from August 20th to August 27th. There's a private event going on, and no one will be allowed on there for that period of time. That includes a weekend. The land bank is who manages the property will be getting up signage and, and putting out the word, okay. as will we. That, that that beach won't be available that weekend. So I, I we're trying, you know, get the word we're foreseeing out. that that's going to be troublesome. But yeah, we're trying to get the word out. Right. So those are most of the things we did. We don't have a board meeting next week. We have the our, our annual summer forum with the Nantucket Community Association on Monday from, at 9.30 at the Athenaeum. It's the board members and myself, and we're having a special update from our energy manager, Lauren Sinatra. And our next board meeting is August 6th. Should we, are we ready for our special guest? Yeah, to let's come bring over? him over. Okay. There he is. We have a very special guest today, my friend Bobby Planzer. Come on up here, Bobby. You could actually sit down are if you want. Are we still filming? Yeah, we're filming, yeah, we're man. Filming. We, we just keep going. We don't stop. So, Bobby <laughs> is a fan of the show, and he is also a, um, how should we describe you? You like to watch and visit board meetings. He's been to some selectmen's meetings, he's been to airport commission meetings, and he watches them on TV. So what's your favorite board meeting? Board of Selectmen, baby. Okay. That's right. And what's why your you, second favorite? Yeah, why do you like it, though? What, what is it about government meetings that you would find interesting? Well... I mean, you're a young kid. Besides everything? Well, once I watch it, it's like the beginning of the... Sockton and I like hearing Rick Anderson say, we'll go to Port Sockton. <laughs> it's, it's, it, uh, I don't know what to say. Do you just like the format? You, you like the way it's structured and the way they allow people to speak and then they talk about it and, okay. Local attorney, Michael Wilson. Hello, hey. how's it going, you know, how are Hi, you, sir? Michael. 
good to see you. Look how good you look. I don't. How are you, Bobby? Good. What's going on? You guys interviewing today? Yes, and we're looking for uh, walk bys that we know. And here you are. Here I am walking by. Yeah, you look a little hot. It's warm today. It's yes, monkey, it and this is wool. What? Home. What are you in court? I'm heading up to court to help some people out today. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah. Well, and well, uh, air up there. And it starts at 12:30, so I got to get going. All right, well, nice to meet you. <laughs> Enjoy the summer. Thanks, you Michael. Bye. I think I'm about to do the uh, stand up and learn program. What's that? The comedy festival. Oh. Ooh. You're gonna try a little stand up comedy? Oh, when's that? I want to go to that. Next year. Next year. Oh, sure. Excellent. That's a good good move. Do you, do you have to practice a little bit for that. So you, you write can... your own material. You got any jokes you can share with us? I'm not sure. You got one? No, no, we, you can't. Oh, you don't have what any. What if somebody saw it and then they used it as their joke? You gotta keep all you that gotta stuff write to your yourself. own material, right? All right. All right then. Yeah, that's it, Libby. So hopefully, um, at a, another time, we can have Bobby back on the show. He could be like a, you know, semi. Well, when he gets some jokes, come on on. You're always welcome <laughs> to tell some jokes on here, okay? And if you think of anything we should talk about on the show um, or any questions, you email me or tell me and I'll, I'll bring them up and I'll credit you. Okay. All right. Okay, thank you very much. See you next time.